Hello everyone, welcome to another mod installation tutorial for Assassin's Creed Mirage. Uh, this was a video requested by one of the commenters on one of my more recent videos. Um, he asked how to install the Remove Glowing Effects mod by DK Gray Fox 87 on Nexus Mods. So if you're interested in getting this mod installed, basically what it does is it removes the sort of like visual extra visual effects in the game like the white outlines around Basson when he's blending or crouched in a bush and the f weird flashing sword effects not the ones that um, indicate what type of attack the enemy is doing so like the red attacks the white attacks you can parry the red attacks you have to dodge those are those effects are still there since they're pertinent to the gameplay obviously but the extra stuff like the sword trails that's all removed and you can actually go through and toggle which of these things you actually want turned off in the game um, with this mod. So if you're interested in the mod, stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you guys how to get this installed and up and running in a matter of minutes. To start off, go ahead and navigate to the mod page, which I'll include this link in the description here. Once you're on the mod page, go ahead and navigate over to the files tab, click on manual download under the most recent option, and then click slow download uh, unless you happen to be subscribed to Nexus Mods Premium. Once you have that downloaded, it'll pop up. It looks like, so I actually already had downloaded it once previously, but I'm going to go ahead and choose the show in folder button here to bring, if it'll let me show in folder, right click, show in folder. There we go. So now I have this pulled up, go ahead and right click on the, on the zip folder and choose extract all. And then you can click extract. That'll extract the folder and its contents. Go ahead and open that up. And you'll see this folder inside that called version 1.2 or whatever version is the most recent that you downloaded. If there's a newer version, you want to be using that, of course. Go ahead and enter that folder. And we have five files, at least at the time of creation of this video, there are five files. You're going to go ahead and select all of those. Um, what I'll do is hold down shift on my keyboard. Uh, select Well, select the first file or the last file, doesn't matter. Hold down shift on your keyboard and then select the file the opposite end of the list and it'll select all of them go ahead and like right click and then choose copy once you've copied all those fires files you're going to want to go to your game installation directory which is going to depend uh, on your system where you installed the game for me that's under my g drive it's an external ssd i have the game installed on and it's in this file path but again that's going to vary depending on your system uh, you're going to want to make sure you're looking in the right spot. By default, I think it's under C program files times 60 times 86, uh, Ubisoft, Ubisoft Game Launcher, Games, Assassin's Creed Mirage, uh, that, something like that. So if you have any trouble finding the game installation directory, you can go into your um, client. So since I have the game through Ubisoft Connect, you can go in here, you can go under properties, and then they have a part called local files, game install location, open folder, and that'll actually bring you straight to the game install location. Once you're there, go ahead and paste the files we copied. So right click and then click paste. And then we have all five files pasted in here. And from that point, we're pretty much good to go. Um, go ahead and go back to the game client. You can launch the game now. Okay, once you have the game up and running, even just on the splash screen, hopefully you saw that pop up on the top saying reshade preset whatever blah blah and it said to press home so go ahead and hit the home key on your uh keyboard if it'll think is it gonna work ah there we go yeah so when i hit home you'll notice see on the very edge of the screen this window's kind of cut off it's really hard to see it i don't know why it's appearing over there but in this case i'm just gonna highlight or move my mouse over the edge of the little window here and gonna click and drag so that i can see what i'm doing once I have it pulled out a bit, I'm going to click and drag the top of the bar here. And you can actually just drag it over this like top blue box and it'll just center it on the screen like that, which is good. If you see this message here saying there's no effect files found, don't panic. What we're going to do is go to the add-ons tab. And once you're on the add-ons tab, you need to actually... So this is the, this is the default uh, file path that the mod creator put here um but for most of us it's not necessarily going to be under the f drive so what you're going to want to do is i would like to press alt tab to switch back to my desktop or my switch out of the game 
um, I'm going to bring up the game installation directory again. Once you're here, you can actually click in the file path bar here and just make sure all that's highlighted and click copy. And uh, once you have that copied, go back into Assassin's Creed Mirage window and you can actually just select all of this, backspace it to make sure it's gone and then paste your game file, game installation directory path with control V. Once you've done that, make sure you add on a backslash at the very end. Um, I'm actually not sure if that's super important, but the way his default path was entered, it had the backslash at the end, so I would just do that just in case. Once you've typed in the backslash, you can go to the home tab and click save just for good measure. And once you've done that, what we're going to need to do is restart the game. So I'm going to go ahead and press home to exit out of the reshade window and then quit to desktop. Choose that. Once it's quit, go ahead and relaunch the game. Once you have the game relaunched, we should be good to bring up the reshade menu again with the home key. And don't worry about this still. So you go to the add-ons page. And if you scroll down with the mouse wheel, you should see a shader toggler option. I'm actually going to collapse this generic depth thing so that I just Cleans, it cleans up the space. You have the shader toggler down here. That's what we're going to use to change um, which of these kind of mod settings are active. The first one is the white outlines around Basim. Second one is enemy yellow and red glowing effect and so on and so forth. So you can actually just play around with these yourself. I'm going to go ahead and hit home to get this reshade menu out of the way. Click continue. We'll jump right into the game. And now that I'm in the game, I'm going to just jump off this roof and I'll just quickly demonstrate to you guys what the mod is doing. So we have uh, no white lines appearing around Basim right now because the by default that, that setting is active in the mod. Normally when you blend in with a group of people you'd see the white outline around him and you can actually toggle it back on with F1. Keep in mind the uh, F1 is also mapped to this FPS counter setting in the game for the PC version. We have some interesting graphical glitches going on here. So yeah, white outline on, white outline off. And even with the white outlines turned off, you can actually still tell if you're blended in by the vignetting around the edges of the screen. So when I blend in the group of people, the edges of the screen get darker and then they get lighter when I'm not blended anymore. And that's how it works for all the other effects too. You can use the F keys or you can bring up the menu with home and then click edit and toggle whether or not the, uh, well, active at startup. So you can change what, what settings are active when you launch the game. Um, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, when you play the game later, you like exit out and relaunch the game. You don't have to worry about setting anything up again as long as you have your settings entered correctly here. Um, the mod doesn't require you to launch anything separate from the game each time you launch the game, so you're good to go. And yeah, that's it. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to leave a comment, uh, like the video. It helps me out a ton. It helps my channel grow so I can make more content like this in the future. And of course, if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, be sure to subscribe as I plan to continue making the same kind of content moving forward. With that said, thanks again, and until next time.